Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard and the junkyard of choice today is Hamilton Pick and Save. Now this truck here, well it's uh, so it was someone's hoopty and it looks like it offed itself. Well that or the owner didn't care about it and killed it for it because well if it was a hoopty. <laughs> but uh, it did have a cowl hood. So maybe it wasn't such a hoopty. It had uh, the cowl hood, which actually pretty nice. And under here, well, I can't tell what it has. It's been cut out. But I would think either 4.8 or 5.3. Probably the 5.3 though, because that is the more common one. And it was a two wheel drive. Someone literally cut this whole corner out to get something. I don't know what, but something. The rad support is rammed right back though, like, that's supposed to be over here and down. You can tell this is the older one because it does have the full steel bumper. Now, I think this was the Chevy? We'll find out in a second. The headlights, I'm almost positive, are Chevy. And yes, this was a Chevy one. Had a All Balls Racing sticker in it and some sort of cat sticker. It smells like diesel in here for some reason. I don't know why. It was definitely a work truck, but maybe a diesel spill on someone's clothes. But the body was not terrible because, well, it, it got work done to it, actually. <laughs> and it's starting to rust out again. It was fixed from here, actually all the way across. It was fixed all the way across, so these rockers are replaced. But they're rotting out again. Typical aftermarket rocker panel pieces. They just such bad quality, such thin metal. Had some nice, must have had some nice caps on it because those caps are gone. Gas door rust, typical. And then, oh, the GM bubbles. <laughs> but uh, it looks like the frame is decent, but they just spray painted everything black under here. And the rust does come through and it just looks worse. It would have been nicer if they just left it rusty, I think. Personally, at least, I think that. <laughs> plastic bed liner in this one but it does have a good rear bumper that'll be good for someone but it does actually look like someone the owner tried to nightshade it and tint it to give it a black chrome look I'd hope you could get that off but you might not be able to and this side had definitely worse body work worse body because well the body lines are just disappearing they kind of tried to bring them back, but they didn't really do a very good job at it. Rancho shocks. And this side here looks to have original rockers on it. Actually, these originals are in better shape than the aftermarkets on the driver's side. Cab corner on this side is more solid too. Surprising, kind of. I believe this is a base model with manual windows too. Rubber floors. Not that you can see them through all the stuff on the floor. And it might have been white originally, so this truck might have been completely resprayed at one point. Unless inside all these cabs are white, but no, no. No, it's white under the hood too. This was a white truck originally. It got painted. Oof, she's rough. Because this being a work truck, that's a textured handle, not a painted handle. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.